The rod in this problem is held horizontally. We're asked to find three things. The tension in this left rope, TL, the tension in this right rope, TR, and the unknown angle theta on the right. We'll do this by drawing a free body diagram and applying the conditions of equilibrium. The forces that act on the rod are first this tension on the right hand side at the unknown angle theta, the tension on the left hand side where this angle is 150 degrees so that this angle is 30 degrees and then there's a box suspended half a meter from this end with a weight W sub B. Finally the rod itself has a weight we'll call it W that's 190 newtons. That weight acts at the center of mass which because the rod is uniform is its geometric center. Now we can write the conditions for equilibrium forces in the horizontal and vertical summing to zero, and torques summing to zero. If we add forces in the horizontal or x direction, we see there are two, this component of the right tension minus this component of the left tension. That gives us TR cosine of theta minus TL cosine of 30 degrees, those sum to zero. We don't know either of these tensions or the angle theta, so all we can do is write down a condition among those variables. When we sum forces in the y direction, we see there are four. This component of TL plus this component of TR minus the two weights. So that gives us TL sine of 30 plus TR sine of theta minus each of the weights. Those sum to zero. And again, we don't know either tension or the angle theta, so all we can do is write down the relation among these variables. Now we can sum torques and calculate one of the unknowns. If we sum torques about this right end, I'll call it point A, then neither TR nor the unknown angle theta will show up in the torque equation. So I'll choose that point and call out of the screen the positive direction. The magnitude of torque is given by RF sine of phi, also equal to force times moment arm, with a direction given by the right-hand rule. Let's first calculate the torque due to the weight of the box, WB. Its R vector is shown here. Curling the right-hand fingers toward the force gives us a torque out of the screen. That's in the positive direction, with a force of WB and a moment arm of half a meter. That's the shortest distance between this line of action and the pivot, shown as the horizontal blue line. Next, we can calculate the torque due to the weight of the rod itself, W. Here's its R vector. Putting the right hand fingers in that direction and curling them down towards the weight shows us this torque is also positive with a force of W and a moment arm of 1.50 meters, the shortest distance between this line of action and the pivot, the horizontal blue line. Last, we can calculate the torque due to the tension at the left end of the rod. Here's its R vector. And now, curling the fingers up towards that tension, the right hand thumb points into the screen. That's the negative direction. And I'll calculate its magnitude using RF sine phi. R is the length of that R vector, that's three meters, the full length of the rod. F is the force, that's the tension on the left end. And phi is the angle between those two vectors. So we need sine of this angle phi right here, and that's 30 degrees. All of those sum to zero. Now we can solve for the tension in the left rope. It equals this expression. Substituting the weight of the box and the weight of the rod itself and calculating shows us the tension there is 220 newtons. Now that we know this tension, we can go back to our sum of force equations and solve for the two other unknowns, TR and theta. Let's call this equation one and this equation two. Notice if we divide those that the tension from the right hand rope cancels from both sides and we get tangent of theta equals this expression. Now we can substitute all the known values and calculate and take the inverse tangent to find that theta equals 41.7 degrees. Knowing this angle, we can now solve for TR, the tension in the right cable. 
let me erase this to get some room, and solve equation 2 for the tension in the right cable. Here's its expression. Substituting the known value for TL, tension in the left cable, shows us that TR equals 255 newtons.